Hello, viewers. Albrecht Dürer's The Seeker Piscis, found on Shakespeare's sonnets. So here's our rather statuesque, apparently androgynous angel on a uh, uh, Melancholia 1. And here is uh, Albert Dürer's Vesica Piscis, which generates a pentagon uh, from a, a hexagon. And this point here, I'm not sure if that is the emergence of mankind, but the hexagon is supposed to be the universe without our nonsense. And then uh, this is this is uh, this 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 five is something to do with us. Uh, uh, so uh, apparently. Uh, um, uh, but geometrically, uh, that these two lines, which are at exactly 45 degrees, emanate from here uh, and, uh, and cross exactly at that point, uh, and then intersect here to create that. Isn't that lovely? Uh, and we've got that right bang in the middle. So uh, I left you justifying this triangle here. Uh, such that uh, this line will actually go straight through uh, that um, the, the head of that monkey, uh, I claim, and this line uh, will go straight through this point here and hit the air. I said such that, it's not such that, it's just, that's what happens. It's, it's such that it's a, a perfect 60 degree uh, equilateral triangle that's uh, placed on that bar, on, the, on, 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 on that axis of these two green uh, at 60 degree triangles, which are perched on top of this 51 degree triangle. Uh, uh, and we've got this uh, uh, Masonic apron, and it's, I noticed that if you just chop out this bit in the middle, uh, uh, it gets even spookier, you know, that's, 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 that's a bit odd. So I, I need you to believe in my triangle. I need you to accept that the triangle is real. Uh, um, because the next thing I'm going to do is uh, uh, justify this then. Here's the here's our triangle and this uh, pentagram uh, is defined as having uh, that vertex halfway along this top line and that these two vertices are exactly coincident with uh, the sides of this triangle. And when I do that, and when I draw two uh, quadrants of the great square, uh, um, that I get these three lines uh, which define the uh, uh, centre lines perfectly of uh, those three. And I, I stress that that is not halfway between there and there. I mean, we, we would end up in the wrong place. We'd end up line up here if we, if we did that. Um, so uh, I, I wish you to accept that this, which points perfectly to that, and also points to this, uh, 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 there's a little marker there on, oh, and only on the Folger, uh, um, that this pentagram exists. Uh, and the reason I need you to accept that this pentagram exists and indeed that the pentagram below it, right, which is the great pentagram, which is defined as starting from here, being upside down, uh, and these two vertices perfectly uh, 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 coincident with the sides of the great square, uh, and it just turns out that it fits this A perfectly. It runs up the inside of it there, uh, and then that one will go down the outside of that. These, this, this, you know, this, this, this A is a golden triangle, uh, 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 and that will go down and, uh, and hit there, and it all looks very pretty. Uh, now, the thing about these two uh, uh, that I need you to accept exist in the first place is because they've got these two uh, 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 pentagons inside them which are very important. Now, they're not coincident. That, that, that doesn't go through that vertex, right? But what is uh, really rather fascinating uh, is that there's a perfect hexagon, which doesn't perfect... That, that is a perfect hexagon. It cannot be perfectly coincident with this uh, at pentagon because we, we came up here using a 51-degree uh, uh, triangle. Uh, and that's not going to cancel itself out. So I know instinctively that, that, that we, well, we can't be bang on, but you wouldn't believe how close we are. There's, that This green line is four units, one, you know, of, of, of the side of the hexagon or pentagon 
uh, it's that's four of those across but also that's the midpoint so actually it's one and a half to there so another one and a half so it's six all the way across so this green line is actually two-thirds exactly the width of the square now I say exactly it's asterisk uh, I need to do a bit of algebra too I, I, I think it's probably just close uh, but as I'll show you in a moment, uh, this hexagon is, is, it almost perfectly touches these, and I'll show you uh, in a moment. Uh, so what, I, what are the things I'm trying to do here is, is make a, uh, um, a Tudor rose appear on that cross so that I can make it a Tudor cross, uh, a, a rosy cross. Uh, and uh, that, uh, there's, that's exactly where our... Um, pentagram a pentagon is and in fact these points at the end this 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 thing was drawn by a graphic artist using a, uh, a, a, a pentagram uh, but uh, that, that, I don't know if that, that those are the actual rules uh, they're, they're all drawn like that if you you know that any 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 artist looking at this goes oh yeah hang on a minute these, these it's, it's a pentagram isn't it uh, so that's what a Tudor rose looks like uh, but this one definitely is um, Maybe it's done by Freemason. Uh, so, and so just, the, we've got a yellow square in here as well, same length, uh, um, and that line there goes straight through what I call the end bauble, the dot on top of the end, which is at exactly 23 degrees from that point there. Um, and uh, if I show you that, so this is my machine generated uh, perfect version and just look at it uh, let's just look at this hexagon right so it can't be perfect it would be you know something's gone wrong uh, uh, but it, look at it it's so good it's within a third of a millimeter out these the, the, these are half a millimeter uh, these these lines uh, just under uh, and uh, uh, and this uh, green cross is not defined as being there. It's def so it's defined by taking the nine dots and shifting it a tiny amount uh, based on the tiny difference between where the square actually is and where the circle is predicting it to be. Uh, and <laughs> we end up there, uh, um, which is just preposterous corroboration. So uh, that, that, again, that's about a third of a millimetre from where it should be. Um, well within any resolution that this thing, the printing press is capable of, I would suggest. Uh, I need to need to have a look now at the uh, uh, at the algebra just to check whether or not this this line here can possibly be one sixth of the square that it came out of. Um, or whether, or, you know, exactly it is not. That's not too difficult to work out. Uh, uh, and um, and then just completely made it all like a mess. Uh, just put this other circle on here, which is this generator circle from 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 our hexagon to the to the pentagon. Uh, and we notice that uh, the, the, this this hack in the end uh, uh, is uh, uh, at this point. So that at least gives me some geometric explanation. It's over to uh, the scholarly at this point. Um, so there you go, Albert Durer. Uh, I, I'm awaiting uh, my uh, high resolution from Huntington, uh, but they're, they're, they're most happy to do that. Um, uh, and uh, uh, more news uh, when, when I get that.